fourth seed in Maine Black Bears and champion of the American East Conference. Head coach Nick Durba, junior infielder Quinn McDaniel, and sophomore first baseman slash designated hitter Jeremiah Jenkins. We will start with an opening statement from coach, and then we'll jump into questions. Coach, whenever you're ready. I wasn't prepared for that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, we're you know, happy to be here. We're, uh, you know, got one more weekend of baseball. Let's go play. play. There's really not much else for us to say. We'll uh, play baseball and move on the field. We'll start with questions in the room, and then we'll move on to Zoom after that. If you are on Zoom, please use the hand raise function. But again, we'll start off with in the Zoom. In the room, Scott. Coach, just coming down to Miami, obviously the Hurricanes are the home team. Just what are your thoughts about playing you know, in front of their home crowd and what challenges that make for that pure team? I think it's exciting. You know, I, don't, I don't think there's any really challenges. You know, we're going to go out and play, and, you know, we're going to play our game. Uh, these guys get a chance to play in front of a nice crowd again. This is a, this is a great experience. Man. I mean, you know, this is, this is a life changing experience. So uh, we'll have added more fans than ever here, right? And then, Jeremiah, I want to ask you kind of the same thing. What's yeah. the mindset in the clubhouse with you guys coming in, you know, facing this Miami team, their home crowd, you know, your squad at Orange and the, the city? Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be fun. I know the crowd is going to be energetic. So I think I'm looking at it uh, like from the positive side. I'm just excited to get out there, you know, play and have a good time. You know, don't put too much pressure on myself. So. You two are part of the first ever trade to have 16 home runs in a season in America East play. What's been working for you guys at home run this year? I think it just comes down to staying in the zone and um, finding pitches we like and kind of taking advantage of mistakes. Yeah, I really can back that up. This is more jumping on mistakes, you know. Don't try to do too much. Just, you know, take it one AB at a time, one pitch at a time. Just go in the box, relax, clear mind. Just try to have fun, really. Try to do great. First time that Maine's been to the regional since 2011. How exciting has been? You got all the smiles on your face. How exciting <laughs> has this journey been for you guys? Man, it's been awesome. I'm having a blast right now. We're in Florida, you know, playing baseball. I'm. This is awesome. I'm just excited to be out there and ready to play. That's all I can say, really. Yeah, I agree with them. It's a great experience, and uh, we're looking forward to it. <laughs> I guess um, now you got the national media on you. Um, what's one thing that people need to know about this main team? We're here to play. Have fun. That's it. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, when you... Uh, get named the conference player of the year. A, where were you? B, what was your reaction when you find out? Oh, we just ended practice. So I was on the field, shocker. But um, yeah, our media guy, Kyle, he came up and said, he announced the awards and then he said, the final award, your player of the year, Jeremiah Jenkins. And I just smiled and you know took it with grace. You know, it's a, it's a, a humble honor to receive. So I'm very grateful to have received that. But now I'm just really looking forward to you know the reasons now. That's, and then in the past, really, I'm grateful to receive it. I'm just ready to play. A few more questions in the room before we go on to Zoom. Yeah. Uh, Coach, obviously, we know, you know, big home runs for these two guys. Just what are some other strengths of this team that you really like that you think can, you know, help you guys advance in this tournament? Well, our, our biggest uh, improvement this year is our defense. Uh, we were, you know, we weren't a very good defensive team last year. And, we, you know, Jerry and, and Q have both made major strides forward. And, you know, we can pick it a little bit. Um, you know, I think our pitching staff has been something that has been coming along late in the year, and you know, for, in order for us to have any opportunity of competing, we got to be able to pitch and pick the ball up. So um, that's that's really what it comes down to. You know, I think that's still a, still a major strength of ours. You know, these guys can hit a little bit. We got a, a solid lineup, but you know, we got to stay in the strike zone. If we throw strikes and hit strikes, we got a chance to do something good. And then just your overall thoughts on this Miami team. What you know stands out about them? Number nine for a reason. They do the little things right, you know. In our, in our, you know, I mean, it's hard not to watch them play. Uh, you know, on a what, Tuesday night when you know we're not playing, or we'll watch. You know, we see some games, but they're 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 extremely talented. They can pitch it. They got some very strong bats. Um, they're number nine. You know, what do you? What else can you say about that? <coughs> Go to Zoom. If anyone has any questions on Zoom, please use the hand raise function uh, and wait to be called on. Let's go with Tyler Cruz. Sorry if I got that pronunciation wrong. Close enough. Um, <laughs> you guys, uh, this is kind of open-ended to all of you guys, but I mean, you guys are coming in here first time in the tournament in over 10 years. Do you kind of feel like you have nothing to lose, or uh, what's the what's the energy, what's the mindset like with uh, with the team right now? We have nothing to lose. We're here to play. You know, like this is uh, we we one thing we've, we've established from day one is that every single game is as important as the last game. There's no pitch that's more important than the one that's coming up next, and I think that's one thing that these guys have embodied. You know, they played they played from the lead, you know, in the American East all year long, which is far harder 
uh, than, than coming into a place where the expectations are extremely low. Um, so every pitch, pitch by pitch, this is what they've done well, and I expect them to do the same thing. Maybe student athletes want to take that one as well. Uh, I'm not happy with that. I mean, <laughs> fair enough. So we're gonna have fun. We'll go to Chris Stock. Yeah, Coach, have you uh, named a starting pitcher for Friday um, yet? Do you have one to announce? Yeah, Kyle Fitzgerald will start for us on Friday. And, and can you just talk about his season that he's had and, and just kind of what he's given you guys throughout the season? Yeah, so he's, I mean, he's been, he's been a, a staple for us. Uh, he's been our most consistent, consistent guy throughout the year. His last two outings haven't been, you know, what, we, what we, we've, we've seen or gotten used to. Uh, but you know he's been a bulldog out there, and you know he's going to go out and give us give us a chance to win a baseball game. And that's all we can ask for out of an ace. I'll wait for some more hands on Zoom. Um, Quinn, for you, a couple guys on this team with 30 plus stolen bases. How much do you think the ability to, to take an extra base can help you guys in the postseason? Yeah, I think just putting the pressure on the pitcher and catcher, and uh, getting guys in scoring positions, big in playoff environments, and uh, yeah, just going out there and run and kind of play loose and kind of play with no fear. It's, kind of part of our game. And Jeremiah, for you, you guys have talked about you know, how happy you are to be here and how you got nothing to lose and everything, but you know, you can't get that smile off your face. <laughs> Do you also think that the, the joy you guys have in being here can help you guys win baseball games too with, with kind of that mindset that you know, I'm coming from? Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, if you're up there just smiling and playing, having fun, I mean, I definitely think that can go a long way because, you know, it's positive energy so it can pass along through the whole team, really. So I think playing with that mindset is going to help us in the long run for sure. And coach, for you, your top four hitters all have started all 51 games this year. The consistency of your top group, how beneficial has that been for you guys? It's been nice. It's, you know, uh, consistency has been incredible, and that's the name of the game, right? Consistency is what sets the teams apart. And those two, those four guys have uh, made our offense go around. Anything else for the Black Bears? All right, thank you guys very much for your time. Best of luck in the Thank you very much.